Google has just released a new over-the-air update for the Pixel and Pixel XL. Now these updates generally take a few weeks to be completed, so you could be waiting weeks until that over-the-air update gets pushed to your smartphone. However, if you'd like, there is a way to manually update your version of Android. This is called sideloading an OTA update, and that's what I want to show you how to do today. This method does not require root access or a custom recovery. It actually requires that you have not modified your system partition in any way. And it will also require that you have ADB installed on your computer. If you're unsure of how to do this or how to do anything else in this guide, be sure to look in the description below this video and I'll have a link to the full tutorial that will be able to walk you through all of those steps. So of course you're going to need to have the USB drivers installed on your computer. You're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot installed on your computer. And you should go ahead and launch the ADB service on your computer as well. Once that is done, we're going to need to launch the settings application. Then you'll need to have developer options. Again, refer to the full tutorial if you don't know how to do that. And then we need to go down here and make sure USB debugging mode is enabled. Once that's been done, we can connect the USB cable from our computer to the Pixel or Pixel XL. And if you have not allowed USB debugging access from your computer in the past, you're going to get this dialog box. Just go ahead and click, tap on Always Allow, and then tap on OK. So from here, we're going to need to reboot into recovery mode. So I'm going to tap on the restart button, hold down the volume down button, and that'll boot us into fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader mode. Then we simply need to press the volume down button a couple of times until the recovery mode option is highlighted. And press the power button to select it. And this will boot us over into recovery mode. At least it'll take us into the recovery mode splash screen. From here we just need to press and hold the power button and then press the volume up button to boot us into the Android recovery mode. And you can see right here there is an option called apply update from ADB. You just need to press the volume down button a couple of times until that apply update from ADB option is highlighted and then press the power button to select it. We're going to get some text at the bottom here that says now we can send the package that we want to apply to the device with the command ADB space sideload space file name. You're also going to need to download the OTA files for your current Pixel phone. So I'm currently running the NDE 63P build. And as you can see in the factory image, images page, a new update has been pushed out to my device labeled NDE 63V. Now if you have the European version, you'll want this build. And if you want the Verizon version, you'll want that build. So now that we know that I need to download this build, we're going to head over to the full images page. Again, this will be linked in the full tutorial below this video. And we're going to see that build right here. So we just need to download that. Once that's downloaded, you're going to need to copy that over 
into the same folder that your ADB and Fastboot tools are in. And if you follow the guide that is linked in the full tutorial, it will instruct you to install minimal ADB and Fastboot. Since they're just very small tools, you don't have to have the full Android SDK. So you can just go ahead and move or copy the OTA file, the whole zip file, to that same folder. And then you're going to want to go back to the command prompt and type out the command adb space sideload space and then the name of your zip file. Now if you'd like you can rename this ota.zip. Let's just go ahead and do that. And then once we type in this command here, we're just going to type out ota.zip. And then once you have the adb silo command set up, just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard. On the command prompt, you'll be told that the ota zip file is loading. And then you'll get a percentage at what the upload is at. You'll also see some text appear here that tells you that it is finding the update package, opening the update package, and then verifying the update package. So you'll just want to wait patiently while the upload and verification is completed. The process shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. So we're told the update package verification took 48.9 seconds. And now it's installing the update. It's currently on step one of two. And if you notice the percentage number on the, in the command prompt has stalled out a little bit. Let's be patient, it's okay. I just noticed that mine stalled a bit on 58%. And then after a few seconds it continued to go back up. And we're currently at 85% as shown in the command prompt.
And now, as you can see, we have moved on to step two of two. This happened at the 94% marker, as indicated by the command prompt. And again, you just want to be patient while this happens. You can see that it says install from ADB is complete. And then it will take us back to the Android recovery menu with the reboot system now option highlighted. So we're just going to press the power button to select that option. And this is going to boot us back into Android. And as usual, whenever you have a new update installed or after you factory reset, it can take some time for this first boot up. Android is needing to set up some stuff now that it has been updated. And it's just doing some verifications and setting everything up for you to use it once it logs back in. And then you're taken back to the lock screen. You can go ahead and unlock it. And then verify that you are on the latest build. You can do that by launching the settings application, tapping on the about phone option. And then if you remember, I told you that I had downloaded the NDE 63V build, which gives us the, the November Android security patch level.